also tribe friends and family to girl 144 priestess i'm here for a message for the pisces today it's a general and timeless message so feel free to take what resonates with you leave what doesn't for the next person if you would like a one-on-one -on -one session with me akashic records or a personal reading the eight minute personal readings are 22 22 for all of scorpio season and the entire website's 15 to 25 percent off no coupon code needed so feel free to go check that out. If the website's not working for you, as I've been updating it the past few days, feel free to email me with any questions or services. Just a reminder that we are going to be holding the Return to Self Sacred Medicine Ceremony and Retreat in December, December 10th to the 12th. We're going to be in the state of Florida. So if you've been looking for deep healing, if you've been looking for Soul Tribe Gathering, we'll be there for two days. Feel free to email me. I'm going to be getting right to your reading, Pisces. Divine Mother, Divine Father, what do we have for the Pisces today for their highest good? And for the highest good of all, what do we have for the Pisces' highest good and for the highest good of all? The Great Gathering. Bottom of the deck is the initiation, rite of passage. It's been a lot of initiation energy for Scorpio season. A lot of deep clearing. <sighs> okay, Pisces. So I see you with people, obviously. Um, you have the great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hit soul tribe. All right, so there's some sort of gathering with people. You also have this over here. So I want to count how many people. Okay, this has more people. This has one, two, three, four. Uh, the seven sisters. The seven sisters can mean something to you. Also just the number seven. You have call back your power, cut the cords, soul retrieval. All right, and protection. And then on the in the middle, we have play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. All right, Pisces. So it's like a three of cups energy. It does feel a little bit more high vibrational. So it feels like a gathering of some sort with people. It feels more of the soul tribe kind of energy. You know, um, feels like a soul tribe gathering energy where you guys are like doing rituals together there's some level of seriousness of this because um, it feels like you'll be doing again it's either healing uh you do have soul retrieval over here it's like some sort of like ritual you know like um so maybe some of you you're going to like some sort of gathering or this ritual maybe like with other women or with other men um, but there's also this level of play here. Have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. Three of Cups can usually mean like a celebration, like a party, right? It's like everyone has a cup in their hand. There's a cup here too, you know, and that catches my eye over here. Um, there's some sort of playfulness when it comes to you and this group or this setting. Even if it's about like spirituality, but if it's about, about that kind of stuff over here and I'm, my stuff i'm like again like just healing whatever path it is that you're on there there's a lot of play and fun here there's like some sort of lightfulness of this group so this group it is that you're going to be with this gathering this whatever it is with men women or both while there seems to be a lot of power here, and that's really the word I'm thinking of is like power, right? And whatever ritual, ceremony, healing group, whatever this is, um, there's also this innocence and childlike sense to it. And I'm getting more of like the heart space. There's just a beautiful, lighthearted energy with this group it is that you're in or this group it is um, that you're going to. And Soul Tribe, you're gathering with Soul Tribe right for a lot of you you're really gonna start seeing that soul tribe manifest in the next few months that around this time the next year where they just start to trickle in one by one by one what do we have for the pisces for this protection great gathering and play energy you do have hostilities you have abundance on the bottom of the deck hostilities conflict and unrest You do have the card protection here. Call back your power, cut the cord, and soul retrieval. Let's see what these hostilities are, Pisces. 
Divine Mother, Divine Father. It's almost like some of you might be like on the witchier side. I'm getting like the coven type of energy, but it's it's either like the coven type of energy. This is not for all Pisces. It's gonna be like for some of you, but it's more of just like soul tribe, a group, a gathering. Can I have one card for that hostilities card? Divine Mother, Divine Father, what is this hostilities card? You have the devil for the hostilities, all right? Why the devil card for hostilities? Why do you have the devil card for hostilities? Oh. You have ten of cups, you have queen of pentacles, you have eight of pentacles. You could be dealing with the queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Why is the ten of cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Ace of Wands. Why are the Queen of Pentacles? Eight of Swords in Reverse. Why are the Eight of Pentacles? And you have the Eight, Eight here, Six of Cups. Okay, Pisces, there could be some sort of conflict. It, this could be someone you know. It's either in the past, present, or future. So it's a general reading. Take as it resonates. Five of Pentacles. To, to clarify the hostilities, you have the Devil. Not to say that the devil's causing hostilities because I don't believe that, but I do believe that there's some something karmic here um, that is playing a role right now with the hostilities, conflict, and the unrest. It's just like the lower world. It's the subconscious. It's something karmic. You have the Ten of Cups clarified by the Ace of Wands. You have the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. So there was some sort of attempting to like block, but it didn't work. You have the Eight of Pentacles and you have the Six of Cups. And then I hear like a big ringing in my ear as I'm getting like something else. <sighs> All right, Pisces, at some point, um, someone could have like tried to block you over here. Um, energetically but it's not working you have the eight of pentacles with the six of cups this is similar to a reading that we had recently why do we have the ace of wands with the ten of cups why do we have the ace of wands with the ten of cups page of pentacles knight of swords ten of wands pisces you're dealing with a person who like they have a fear of money and it's okay so like we say like the root of evil is all money right in society which is not true but that greed right that greed or those lower energies when it comes to money can be evil and they'll say that the root of money is evil but it's actually not it, it's these people who it's the energies um, when it comes to money those attachments you know, and, and when they say that the root of money, that the root of money is evil, what is it? The root, the root of money, I don't even know what it says anymore because I've like myself like done the deprogramming of it. But uh, you're dealing with someone, long story short, that they're very worried about money. Uh, again, this is a queen of pentacles. So they could have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in their chart. They could embody it. They could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm getting a feminine energy. Um, but it's like this person will protect themselves at all costs when it comes to money, even if it's at the point of like, and why is this coming like sacrificing you? And it's not sacrificing you, but it's like this person, if it comes to like you and them, they'll, they'll 
make sure that like, you know you're blocked you know um it feels like someone who wants to protect themselves in regards to money it actually didn't work you have the page of pentacles and the nine of swords with that ten of cups and the ace of wands This person can figure out Pisces. This person is at conflict with themselves, but it's playing out with you. It could just be because you're mirror reflecting this. And I get a message as soon as I, as I, um, oh, and my phone's on 33%, okay? So my phone's on 33% and I just got a message. This person's more at war with themselves. It's just being reflected to you at this time. Just take it as it resonates. Um, this person, they were put in a financial situation where it was like um, they were in a lot of fear. And so the way that they saw you, they saw you with this like Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands kind of energy. And energy is playing a big <coughs> role here. And I'm coughing. Um, this person saw you as a way for them to like make money. You have the page of pentacles and the nine of swords. This person was really in their head and they have a lot of fears regarding money. And then there's like your energy. Ten of cups with the ace of wands. This person wanted to work with you. They seem very unconscious, so this person's just unconscious. It's like, forgive them, they know not what they do. This Queen of Pentacles, they then could have been going through money stuff, and it's like they blamed you, Eight of Swords in reverse. Or um, take it as it resonates for some of you. It's like, if it's at the expense of you, that they get what they need or what they want, then they're okay with that Eight of Swords in reverse. But it didn't work. You have the Eight of Pentacles with the Six of Cups here. Why the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups? Do not fall face up. Why the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups? Why the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups? Temperance. Balance, harmony, bottom of the deck is the chariot. For some of you, this person could be coming back. This could be in the past in your life. This person could be coming back for some reason. It, it feels like though, like their attempt again to like silence you, their attempt to block you. Uh, it feels like they wanted to protect themselves, and so they wanted to keep you away from something. They wanted to protect themselves. They felt like you were the reason when it, I feel like specifically money. Like they felt like you were the reason for something not fully coming in the way that they wanted. Why the eight of cup? Why the eight of swords in reverse with the queen of pentacles? Six of pentacles. Why the Eight of Swords in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles? Death. Okay. Knight of Wands. I'm getting a message at the same time, so that's why I'm looking over there. Six of Pentacles with Death. All right, Pisces, and the reason why I'm so silent is because, like, it, it feels like this person is just, like, very unconscious. Very unconscious. The reason why you manifested into their lives was to teach them. And you have the three of pentacles over here, all right? Um, 
Three of Pentacles is a card of work. It's a card of like putting in the work. You have Ace of Swords. It feels like some sort of money karma, which again, if this is coming up in Scorpio season, there's a lot regarding money. There's a lot regarding past life karma, ancestral karma, karmic debt. Why do we have the death card and the six of pentacles? Two of cups, okay? So it's like this person, five of cups. Like this person was giving you death, all right? Why the death card? Page of swords. Why the Six of Pentacles? Four of Pentacles. You had a protector in the other realms that wouldn't let this get through. You have the Four of Cups over here. Like, it never reached you. It never came to you. Um, this feels like someone that was, like, very spiteful, like, regarding money. Um, this might, this feels like someone who even, like, maybe has a lot of, at some point, or, like, has money. But, um, again, like, the money, like, being the root of all evil it's like this person, look at the venerable woman, which is a generous woman. Ten of Swords. This person saw you and thought that you were a great opportunity. But I, I think that the root of what they wanted you for in your life, in, in their life, Pisces, um, was more of like control. Um, and if like, God forbid, you don't do what they want or God forbid, you're not delivering what they need they'll switch and it feels like it's like the animalistic in them like again this person's just very very unconscious they could even be a nice person or seem to be but they're very unconscious and so uh pisces this person like manifested into your life um you're actually you know you are the light in their life and maybe you were a light in their life um you could have taken away your energy again you have called back your power cut the cord and soul retrieval protection there's beautiful things coming in here pisces it does feel like though um again the power right i was taught when i when i saw this card i was thinking like power power um you hold a lot of power within all right um and you manifest it into this person's life to kind of reflect things back because look at this look at this where they're like like this right you know, Pisces, there are some, there's some people in general, not just Pisces, but like you'll manifest into people's lives as karma in a sense, you know, and a lot of people say like, oh, like I am the karma, but like in a sense, you could even look at where your Saturn placement is, what house, what sign. Um, it's like you come into people's lives to teach them. And when I say teach them, it's like maybe some people have like a habit or are very unconscious. And so Pisces, you might manifest into people's lives to make certain things conscious, all right. And this person, it feels like it was like a when it all costs kind of energy, especially regarding money. Just a when at all costs kind of energy. <sighs> money can be very important to this person, 1818, 99, which is why this is coming up, especially during this season. Like this person is learning some sort of lesson regarding money. All right, you could have been dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, could have been very close to this person at one point, either joint finances or family or like, again, just some sort of close connection, Pisces. <sighs> you manifested into their life to, to almost like purify them in a sense of, of the way that they've been handling people and money. It feels like they've done people wrong regarding money. Like, again, it's more of like this person is like a win at all costs. Like, you know, if things are going great, they're great. But if they feel slightly unstable, 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 if they uh, um, feel slightly unstable regarding their foundation or money, you'll see that root of evil come out in them. You know, so you'll see that animal come out with them and they could easily turn on you because that's what's important to them. And so it's like you manifested into their life. And while usually when it comes to money, they're, they're, again, it's more of control. It's more of the energy of control. It could be regarding money, which is, again, control. But um, they couldn't do this to you. Eight of Swords in reverse. Like, they couldn't hold anything against you. They couldn't block you. They couldn't anything. They couldn't. In any time, space, or dimension. 
this could be two things i'm getting control right so this could be regarding money of that control aspect will they control money or this or that for some people on a spiritual sense you know um like i just there's so much on youtube tarot right there's so much like online anyway about the karmic energy and the divine energy and this and that a true divine feminine will not even see a karmic as like oh my god you're karmic because that's what's coming up here too it's like you know, for some, especially as a divine feminine or masculine, if a karmic energy comes across your life, you're there to show them God. You're there to teach them. Everyone has to go through the journey. And so death, six of pentacles, it's like maybe when it comes to karmic energy, right? Um, the karmic energy is used to getting back or being spiteful on a spiritual sense, you know, of like feeling like they need to protect themselves, sending, you know, I'm, I'm talking about control. So sending out negative energy, say black magic things like that there's two different instances here it's one uh, a lot of control regarding money the other one is um this energy where they're just used to getting what they want but because of like say that more um and i don't want to say black magician i don't feel like this person is like a, a bad like black magician um but they are the black magician in the sense where like they'll they're like, okay, well, I want to make $2,000 this week. Okay, I'm going to do like a little spell. I'm going to do this and I'm going to get it. And if I don't, then, you know. Um, so this feels like a feminine energy who has an issue with control. Money or the spiritual sense, right? You, they can't do anything against you. You know, like uh, the death, la muerte, and the six of pentacles. Uh, they can't give that to you, you know. And again, this feels like someone unconscious. So... You're an earth angel here. You've manifested into this person's life who is like a control freak. Uh, and they actually cannot control you, you know. And um, and the page of swords, the four of pentacles over here too. It's like um, you, you're very protected, Pisces. And so in this energy, there's been on the other realm, spirit guides are like guiding you. I'm getting a message too again. Um, the Page of Swords, it feels like more of like, yeah, guiding you. Four, four of Coins with the Page of Swords over here. Because if you look, he's like kind of peeking over here, like watching. One more card for the Page of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords. Yeah, and so holding that Sword of Truth, Pisces. Um, holding the Sword of Truth over here. you have the wheel the wheel turns for you why do we have the venerable woman here yeah seven of swords and this is regarding that queen of pentacles energy um the chariot this is someone who would do like the venerable woman is someone who is generous but this feels like, a, again, Seven of Swords energy, more of someone who will do anything to, to get that or to maintain some sort of stability. Um, again, a lot of the control issues. Why the Seven of Swords with the Venerable Woman? The Fool card. Uh, a brand new start. A brand new start. Queen of Cups. All right, Pisces, so uh, not only are you getting a brand new start, but it does feel like you manifested into this person's life to, again, ser serve as a, just serve as a light for them to experience what, like, the, like, the, you were sent to their lives by the divine. You did kind of affect their lives in a sense. They feel like it's bad or they feel like they lost control, but it was more because they had to face those control issues and you're like, love, you can't control love. So if you show up in someone's life as a, a divine mirror of just love and light uh, and truth, every way that they're trying to control it is going to not work. And it's because you manifested into their life to help them with their control issues. They were able to kind of control other people or control the outcomes of situations in different kinds of ways. They can't do that with you, Pisces. And so they are forced to start over new. You are too. But you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. All right. And 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 when it comes to Scorpio season, Pisces, especially doesn't matter when this came up for you, 
you know, uh, but this is leading to the Ten of Pentacles, but the true Ten of Pentacles, all right? Not one that's like a, as in control, you know, but um, a, a true abundance, the full card Ten of Pentacles, true foundations. This is such a sturdy foundation, but now it's time to make it true, all right? And so you help this person uh, realize that. You gave this person a great and big awakening. Again, this person was very unconscious. You have the devil card. You do have the, a lot of earth. You could have been dealing with a Capricorn or you have the venerable man over here or someone who had Capricorn in their chart. Um, but you did affect either, again, their foundations are what made them feel like they were secure and in control or quite literally their money. But it, it was God the whole time. 33 seconds, king of pentacles. It wasn't you. It was God the whole time. Um, and you were sent to that person's life to have them have an awakening about money, about finances, about all of this stuff. And they're actually going to have the opportunity to, you know, have great things and to have a, such a sturdy foundation. But they had to own that shadow of control first. And you reflected that shadow of control. Again, you were connected to this person at some point or in time. And so that could also be why you're being called for protection. Call back your power. Cut the cord, soul retrieval. You're cutting the cord from this person. Uh, soul retrieval for some of you, if that resonates. Um, and calling back your power from all of this. Which that could have been all you did was call back your power. And once they don't have that energy anymore, you know. Um, you do have the card. You have the venerable man over here too. Uh, you do have in the four of swords the great gathering and play. You know, so while this conflict is here, you're really being guided to play right now. Have fun, celebrate. Don't be so serious. You could have also taught this person that nine of coins feels like I don't have too much of your energy here, Pisces, but it feels like you're in an energy where you're moving on. You are wanting to play and to gather with people. This also taught you so much about yourself, Pisces. What do we have for play and the great gathering for the Pisces? Okay, you have seven of coins, queen of cups, six of coins, um, and then the seven of wands over here. So there is some, still some sort of like protective energy. I'm hearing Beyonce, new foundation. Um, you won't break my soul. Uh, Beyonce, break my soul. It feels like Pisces in your personal life, because you have a cup here again too. There's some focus of a cup. Um, maybe some of you are at some sort of gathering or some sort of celebration where you're drinking or you're having a special drink. Uh, you're either drinking and having fun or you're having a special drink. Like for example, like me, I don't really drink, but you know, it could be maybe something like a special occasion. There's some importance about this cup. It's in too much of this energy. Um... So the cup can mean something to you. could also just be the Holy Grail in a higher sense, but I am getting that there's some sort of like drinking involved. It could be drinking some sort of substance. It doesn't have to be alcohol or like alcohol, but there's some sort of intention in it, like something very special about this drink. Are the six of coins with the queen of cups? Why the six of coins with the queen of cups? You have king of cups. Queen of Swords and Page of Coins. All right, Pisces. So there is definitely some sort of like rebirth. Even when it comes to your own self as well. You're, re you're going to receive an offer. For some of you, this offer is coming from a couple. Do not fall face up. Um, but this is leading you from one, yeah, queen of coins over here. And as I'm saying, this is leading you from one offer to another. Um, you could be walking away from that queen of coins offer over here. Um, and Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And you're walking into another offer, page of coins. Can you clarify this page of coins? Clarify this page of coins and page of cups, ace of swords, all right? So you have the page of coins and the page of cups. It might start off small, 
I feel like you're going to have little things start to trickle in in your reality, in your environment. Ace of Swords. Um, but there is also um, some sort of truth over here. It feels like um, for some of you, you will be receiving some sort of message. Um, the message might turn into like an offer. There's some sort of conversation coming forward. I do see two people. This could be like a couple or there's two people involved. Um, you're going to be receiving this method. 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 Maybe you're receiving a method. Method. Hmm. Uh, and page of cups and page of coins. There's some sort of conversation that leads to some sort of offer. Again, it might seem small or start off small at first, but I do feel like this is going to be something that you actually want and it can lead to something more, something that's more aligned with your truth and what it is, who, that, who it is that you are and what it is that you're working on and towards. Um, it feels like the Queen of Coins actually did give you like a good opportunity of some sort, um, but behind the closed doors was uh, a lot of like shadow. Um, it, the hostilities were clarified by the devil. It was a lot of shadow behind closed doors. And so it was almost a lesson too for yourself, Pisces, of like, um, uh, like it does feel like it was a good opportunity. This could have been like an abundant person, um, but the re how they actually got this abundance was through a lot of, again, like control or their own shadow stuff. And you were there to reflect that back to them. Uh, they kind of blamed you because uh, it feels like their foundation ended up kind of having a tower moment in whatever way that that was. They feel like they blamed you, um, but you actually taught this person to release control. You taught this person to release control um, by you coming into their life, manifesting into their life and things. Um, again, they blamed you, but uh, that's how it was meant to be. You're supposed to learn that lesson. You're supposed to learn your own lessons as well. It's bringing you into something higher, into something more. I, I see a man and a woman. Um, so there could be something about a man and a woman there too that you're coming into. Again, it might be something small at first. And I'm getting a call too. Um, you might meet this man and this woman. It's going to start off small. It does feel like some sort of conversation. Um, but it's, it's something that's aligned with more of your truth and more of who you are. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I do hope that this resonates. I'm going to get an Oracle card message to close this out. Let's see what this is. That I think that's a heart chakra. Heart chakra, unfurling back to love, and then you have journey to wholeness. All right. Uh, the dragonfly represents freedom. Dragonfly can also mean something to you. You could definitely be seeing the number 33. Um, but the, this heart chakra, uh, you could have even opened this heart uh you could have opened someone's heart chakra over here because um, if this was in reverse and so not only like are, are we all going through our, our own heart openings as a collective um, but it feels like Pisces uh, this person the reason why you also manifested into their life is because like they had a heart chakra blockage and you helped them open that up um, but how do we, how, you know, how do we open that up by surrendering to, by surrendering, which is losing control, you know, surrendering control. And so it feels like on a higher level, Pisces, you help this person open up their heart. Um, yeah, you help this person open up their heart. You have opened up like the lotus, flowering spirit, maturity, and revelation. And then you have homeward traveler, completion, reunion, and return. All right. For some of you, you are traveling. It feels like this happened at some point, um, some point in your journey, past, present, or it could be happening now or the future. Um, but it's brought you a lot of revelation and maturity. Like this uh, situation also opened up your own eyes. Uh, and so now it feels like there's some sort of, uh, not only like reunion and return home of yourself, this rebirth, um, but it feels like this close out a chapter in your life and it's leading you to more. It's leading you to higher. I'm getting a lot of fairy energy, fireflies uh, for some of you. There's still that like, the again, the uh, gathering with soul tribe. There's still some sort of travel here that I see in the woods with people. All right. So this, this has led you to recognize a little bit more of who you are has opened up your own lotus and flower. Again, so like the chakras in Hinduism, each one is a lotus, all right? So um, th there's also a heart opening that's happening here, um, and it's aligning you with exactly where you need to be, who you need to be with, and it's completing a cycle for you, Pisces. 
that's what I have for you. I do hope that this resonates. I'm sending you all so much love. If you would like a personal reading, Akashic Records, one-on-one -on -one session, or anything else, feel free to check out the box below. If my website's not working for you, please feel free to email me. The, that's in the box below as well. But I love all of you, and I hope that you have a beautiful day.